Hello fellow dreamers, welcome back. Or if you're new to my channel, I'm Cress, and I'm super excited to share today's video with you. Since February is National Library Lovers Month in the US, this seemed like a perfect time to share this whimsical book nook in my Glade of Trust. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed cozy Dreamlight Valley vibes. As I mentioned in my last speed build, I actually built this outdoor library at the same time as my fairy garden. But since I lost the footage when my game crashed, right in the middle of that build, I decided to recreate this so that I could share it with all of you. For those of you who don't know, I'm a librarian, so this is just one of the many libraries in my valley. Check out my Instagram page if you want to see my original library build. It's still one of my favorite rooms in my valley. For this portion of my Glade, I ended up using a lot of the items from the Cinderella collection. These bookcases are so gorgeous and romantic, and since the Glade has a lot of darker shades, I thought that they would provide a nice light contrast. For my trees, I went with the bamboo wall, which I'm absolutely in love with. I use it in a lot of builds, and these cute little mossy trees. Adding the vine wall behind the fireplace made it feel a little more dense and natural. I wanted this little space to feel cozy and overgrown, a perfect blend of nature and man-made items. So I used the Cinderella rugs and then eventually I added the leaf rug, which you'll see later. These new craftable zircon tiles from the Eternity Isle expansion are so pretty. I just love the color. I like that when you place them down, little bits of grass poke between them. I also love that we have two different sizes of these so that we can add some variety. I ended up moving these around quite a bit because I didn't want them to look too uniform. Nothing kills a natural vibe more than straight lines, so I actually ended up rotating quite a few of them for that same reason. Once I was satisfied with the placement, I started in on the little elements. Obviously, the books came first. I am dying for those scrolls. I just would have loved to add them to this little nook for even more variety. But I have to say that I'm so thrilled that we have so many different stacks and piles of books to choose from. It just adds to the coziness of a library to have different piles of books everywhere. Of course, if this was really my library that I work in in real life, I would not be happy with piles of books everywhere because I'd have to put them all away. I just love these oil lamps from the Beauty and the Beast collection, so I added them in here. They fit so well with the overgrown natural vibe of this little area. Once I put the fairy tale gazebo back in its spot, this build was finished. For the overview, I of course offset the time to sunset. I love all the warm tones when all the lights in the valley go on at the end of the day. I am so happy with how this turned out. I have Beast's Castle in the Glades also, so this library is just as much for Belle as it is for me. I've found her hanging out there more times than I can count. Do you have an outdoor library in your valley? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to see it.
If you've stuck around, I want to thank you again for joining me in another magical little corner of my valley. My channel is brand new and your support means so much. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I will be posting more speed builds and walkthroughs in the future. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. I'll see you soon, fellow dreamers.